Hey everybody, this is Sherry with UpOrDownThereBeautiful.blogspot.com and I just noticed that I went over on time with my video so I will be cropping that at the end and then attaching this as a second part. So here is our frog and we've put him together on the first video. I'm going to trace over the pencil lines that I've made for his mouth and then um, I'll give that a minute and then I will erase anything that I need to erase because I still I can't even draw a straight line with a straight line. Okay then we're going to take our frog's foot and we're going to attach it to the bottom piece of paper that um, is going to go on the front of our card. So here's the front of our card and here is our little frog and what we're going to do is we're going to flip him over and we're going to add some adhesive here with um, my ATG gun um, push that ribbon down this is a sheer ribbon and I put it across the top to kind of cover the part where the two pieces meet because this was the card base I had on and <laughs> my frogs like completely and totally upside down. It looks like he was just hanging there. Okay. There we go. Now we'll just hook this on the bottom because I didn't I didn't want to have to waste paper so I just decided to cover up my cream colored base and put white up here and this white has red and green uh, speckles in it which I have no idea where it came from. It was in my stash let me see if I can zoom in there where you might be able to see them. But just really cute. And I thought it would go good with my red and green frog. And then this I know is an old die cuts with a view stack. But I'm not sure exactly how old it is. I don't know if it was from last year or the year before. But I love it. And I do have some new paper stacks. But I don't want to, you know, I want to use up what I have. I'm trying to be resourceful here and not wasteful. Okay, so here's our frog and let me go back out here. So this is how he would come to you in the mail and I will probably maybe put um, some something up here and uh, I don't really know what I'm going to use yet but I'm going to go ahead and whoops sorry folks I hit the camera and let me zoom back out there. And I'm just going to tie a little knot with, uh, with this red um, sheer ribbon, which I think will look really pretty. Okay, but we don't want it to go over too far because we don't want it to interfere with our frogs hopping. So clean that up a little bit, move that out of the way, and here, let me get my frog up here and put him on right, and here is what our frog does, which, oops, I need to put, let me put a little um, dimensional here under his hat, that way his um, hat piece doesn't flip up. And he goes like that, and he comes in the mail like this to you, and then he goes, Happy, 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 happy holidays. So, I just wanted to share that with you all. I hope that you think it's as cute and funny as I do. It's another punch for my punch book, and I really thought he was adorable. Thanks for visiting me today, and happy crafting. Bye.